Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, been waiting for this uh, to hike to this stream for a couple days now. I've been waiting for the weather to get right. And today it looks like it's there. We got lots of sun. Set my solar panels up at the truck. Lock those down. But uh, gonna hike in. I gotta gotta cross this ridge here. There should be a stream on the other side. But uh, it's a pretty good hike. Saw a guy down at the start, uh, and he said that not many people have been on it yet. So there's some stuff across the the trail. So you know, but so far it looks okay. It's definitely marked pretty well. So I'm excited about that. But um, got a little bit of climbing to do today. Hey bear. And I never fished a stream before. I was just looking for some place I could backpack into and, uh, you know, some place a little bit more remote than a couple of other places I've been. So, this is one of the reasons why I chose this stream. One of the reasons why I came here, this area, is because I wanted to fish this stream. So, that's what we're doing today. Thought I'd give a quick intro so you guys know what we're doing, but, uh, just gonna keep hiking. And then eventually this trail should go up and over that ridge and on the other side of that ridge just finding some water so i'm gonna keep on moving so yeah first uh maybe second or third tree i've seen across the trail so we'll make a detour i like these me and Deadfall have a history. Be careful not to trip and break anything. I do have my spot with me. Reminds me I need to send my wife a check-in. So she at least knows the area I'm in. I haven't been doing a pretty good job of sending out check-ins. Hey, bear! Big sign at the front said, be bear aware you're in bear country. So, don't believe it's one of those streams that gets a lot of traffic. Seen one black bear. He wasn't really coming in, into camp. He was coming to the stream, I'm pretty sure, that was near the camp. And then I had some, what looked like bear prints on the window, but anybody's guess really. So, all right. Gorgeous view. All right, so I don't think he was joking. This is part where I think he was talking about all the trees not being cleared yet. So I have to make sure I leave myself enough time to deal with these on the way out because it's going to slow you down. Good thing is they have the M flagged, so you can at least follow that. I'm going to mark where I'm at time wise so I know about how far 821 so I've been hiking 41 minutes so far just from the truck all right there's the first look at the creek I've been waiting for to see I remember this little knoll right here they got it marked pretty good but it gets twisty uh, a lot of deadfall so I'll go ahead and tell you what I did. I brought my three weight and I brought my four weight because I had no idea what this water looked like. From here, it looks like three way water, but it's nice to have a spare. I packed all my rods in the same case, my three weight. Um, I just put all both of them in the same rod sleeves. Grab two reels, three weight, four weight, do those in the backpack. Pretty. All right, I'm excited. Just gotta make sure I uh, wash the clouds. And make sure I leave myself enough time. Um, probably do this till, I don't know, we'll say two o'clock maybe. If I, if the weather looks pretty good. Shit, I'm between this hole. I might do a different, I'm guessing I could just hike down from here as opposed to following this trail. Yeah. Let's walk to the edge here and look around. Yeah, I think the trail just keeps going. So, here. This looks like my way down. 
right through here somewhere. There we are. And I can walk back if I need. Yeah, I'll do another video. Maybe back at camp. One day when I can't fish. And I'll walk through what I bring with me on these. You know, I, I call this a day trip, hike trip. A couple places to slide down. Oh, there's a snake right there. Hey, little buddy. Me and you, we're gonna part ways now. Let's go check out the water. And then we'll rig up. All right. in some fire ants. All right, so it started off as an adventure already. Must have walked through a pile of fire ants or something because it started steaming me around my belt line where they were crawling in my waist and still got some of them on my pack here so i'm gonna brush that off and then we'll uh we'll go see if we can find some fish man jump in the creek try to watch my thumb all calling my leg yeah there's still another man where are they at all right
that with my shins in. Oh. Just about every fish I've caught has been on the surface. So I'm just gonna lose this dropper. Um, if nothing else, I can get a little bit tighter in some places. Dropper always seems to grab stuff. So if I see, uh, I saw a fish back there earlier, he wouldn't come, so I put the dropper and he, he's the one fish that ate the dropper. So if that happens again, I'll put the dropper back on. But uh, yeah, everything's eating to dry right now. So time to go high. First little boogie. That was the one I wanted. Uh, tried to horse that one in, didn't want to go to that log. And then pulling the hook out. Got to eat though, that's always fun. So I was trying to avoid having it last time. <laughs> Yay! Barbara's hooks, they spit it out quickly. This one back, back in his life. Rainbow.
All right, what's up? Uh, decided to go ahead and leave about an hour earlier. It's about one. Thunderstorm's supposed to kick up about three. That's with hourly, I don't really trust it. So I thought I'd give myself an extra hour uh, and get through. You can see, um, yeah, pretty much clouds are building all around. So felt like didn't want to wait until the last minute. Fishing was absolutely fantastic. Browns, brookies, rainbows. I'm guessing if I'd gone a little bit higher, I'd probably found some cutthroat. So gonna have to put this on my stream list to come back and revisit because it was fantastic. But uh, yeah, man, what an absolutely fantastic stream. I can't, it's like every single hole had a fish in it. And it was just, uh, you know, could you make a good cast and make a good presentation? They were eating a size 12 is my top shelf hopper. I've talked about it a million times. Um, I just double up on the foam for this trip because I was doing more hopper dropper because it's kind of early in the season. So, but I have some smaller ones too that are single foam. Um, I caught one fish on a purdy. And then after that, I took the, cut that off and just basically fished dry dropper. I mean, just the dry uh, fly the whole time, the foam pattern. And glad I had my eight and a half foot four weight. It made some reaches nice. It also, had, I was trying to land fish as fast as possible because I knew I had a, uh, a limited window today. Um, so I didn't really want to overplay the fish. Try to get them in the net as quick as possible. Lost a couple decent fish doing that. I saw a couple, we'll call them solid 15 inch fish. I might've seen a 16 inch, um, but uh, you know, it's the way it goes. Two rainbows made up for it though, because I wasn't expecting any rainbows. Um, and I think those are the second and third rookies I've caught. So anyway, gorgeous view. It's a nice way to hike out downhill. I like those hikes where you hike up first thing in the morning when you're rested. And it's kind of cool. And then you just go downhill afterwards because that's a long way to go. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions, drop those in the comments. As usual, I'll get to those. Um, it's going to be a fun series. I've had a good time up here. So, all right, guys. Talk to you all later.